Today we're looking at the DB9 from Diamondback Farms. So I've been a couple years ago, Diamondback came out with their little 380. The DB9 is not much bigger. It's a built same style and all as a little DB380, just slightly longer, slightly greater front to back because the 9mm Luger cartridge is longer. Anyway, this little farm is small, it's light. Well, it's about 12 and 3 quarter ounces with empty magazine in it. It fixed the hand really well. Um, it fixed the pocket really well. It hides well in the pocket. It's got the little, uh, uh, similar to a Glock, reminds me of the little takedown on it. It's striker fired. Uh, it's got a uh, striker block in it where if you drop this weapon, it's not going to go off. There's no safeties to flip, nothing like that to do. It's just a, a slag cocks it and you pull the trigger. It's got a good smooth relatively light trigger pull on it. It's got uh, pretty decent sights on it. Uh, it's got some uh, three dot style sights, uh, drift adjustable for windage. Uh, also Crimson Trace makes a laser for this, which to me that qualifies it as a carry gun. Without that, I wouldn't consider it to carry myself. I don't have one for this one yet, but Crimson Trace makes one. It's got a steel uh, magazine latch in it, so it's not something more out. And one thing I like about it, it's a low profile mag latch, slightly recessed, it takes a good push, to pop your mag out and by doing that it's not going to pop your mag out while it's in your pocket or in a holster. Uh, it's got this uh, slight beaver tail here that protects the hand really well. Anyway the gun's slim, it's light, it's easy to carry. Uh, it's got a lot of power for such a small gun. Recoil's a bit snappy depending on the load you want. Also for functioning these small guns like this need to run on premium. Just like my Harley motorcycle it runs best on premium. These small guns they're made uh, it has to, a lot of function to do in a short span right here with that lightweight slide. It is a lock breech, but, um, you know, junk ammo is not going to run it. Uh, some things wouldn't run well in this. Even a, a, some NATO spec 124 grain ball wouldn't run well in here. But good hollow point, most of the hollow point stuff I tried worked. The Striker 115 grain worked well. Corbon uh, 115, 125 grain worked extremely well. Buffalo 115 grain. Uh, with that gold dot hollow point is an excellent choice for this. It ran really well in it. Lots of things running. If you get you one, I recommend it, but try out different ammo in it. Make sure your ammo is going to run in it. Don't buy one of these and go buy the cheapest Czechoslovakian junk ammo on the shelf and then cry that the gun don't work. I've warned you, it needs good ammo. It runs well on good ammo, but it's not made just for plinking with the cheap junk. This little uh, DB9 holds up. Uh, Six in the magazine plus one up spout gives you seven rounds of nine millimeter in a lightweight package. It's uh, smaller, lighter, thinner than a five shot revolver, but you got nine millimeter power coming out of here. We got the striker, hollow point nine millimeter in here, which is some good uh, premium type stuff, and uh, we're gonna run it through here.